Help support the companies that support our community.
I remounted the bowl in the coal jaws so I could turn off the tenon. They work great for this. I just put a piece of paper towel in there and that just kind of helps cushion from the lip so it doesn't get marred up or anything if it were to slip at all. So I used a spindle gouge to clean up the bottom of it, get that tenon off of there, and then cup out the bottom of it just a little bit. And then I went ahead and finished sanding the rest of the bottom and I used the doctor's walnut oil and that's what I did the rest of it with. But just some beautiful grain. I, I really, I have no idea when I turned the outside of this or maybe somebody gave it to me partially turned. I cannot re remember, but it was just, it's some beautiful grain in Sycamore. Um, so my original plan was I was going to basket illusion a section of this. So what I was going to do is bead the whole thing, basket illusion part of it, and then take the router and clean off all the rest of it. So it would just be left with a section of basket illusion on it. But once I got it turned, the grain on this is just incredible. I love the way it kind of ripples over the beads as well. It just it's beautiful. So I just decided to leave it the way it was. So you might have noticed in the video when I, after I did the beading, I kind of dropped down and made a little groove in it. And that's what I was going to do. I was going to router it. And then I got to looking at it and it was just, it's just too pretty to cover up with any sort of color or anything. So I loved it like that. It is nine inches across and five inches tall. And it was a beautiful, beautiful piece of wood. Just some beautiful spalting in there turned out really nice. I will have a link down below in the description for the beading tool. I've been getting asked a lot about that. So I have all the links to all the tools I use in the video down in the description. So if you ever see something that I'm using, go check it out and then it should be down there. All right. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I I will try that though. I want to find, I'm going to find a plain piece of wood that I can do that basket illusion and then clean up all this go so, yeah I just wanted this all smooth and then a raised section where the basket illusion was but fun project love the beading tool it just puts a nice little touch on it all right guys I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell you'll be notified every time we put out a video all right see you next time